What's up guys and 2020 is pretty much over from Samsung's side. It's time to take a look at the flagships of 2021. Galaxy S21 is the next big thing from Samsung. We have a lot of hopes from it and seems like Samsung is proving hopes right. One of the biggest upgrades with the Galaxy S21 series is said to be the AMD X Samsung powered Exynos 1000 chipset and we actually have an even quite big report from South Korea revealing that Samsung with the help of AMD and ARM is all set to make the next Exynos 1000 chipset powerful enough to actually dethrone Qualcomm in the Android game. Right now Samsung is the only smartphone manufacturer to make their own chips as Huawei has lost its position because of the US ban made for the devices with the last phone rocking carrying chipsets and coming next year Qualcomm might end up being the supplier of flagship chipsets to Huawei. And this makes Samsung only manufacturer to make their own chips in which they should have stepped up their game. So as South Korean report reveals that Samsung will not be making the same mistakes that they've made in the past and is actually ditching their custom cores completely. The reason for ditching their custom cores is to welcome the high-powered ARM's Cortex-X1 cores that they've recently announced and it is all set to be 30-40% to 40 more powerful than previous generations. And coming next year, all chipsets will be made on 5 nanometer architecture, so this will raise the number even higher. So that is all on the CPU size, but what about GPU? So yeah, we know this, AMD is finally entering into the game. AMD will be making their first radiant powered graphics for smartphones to use in the Exynos 1000 chipset and they will also use a while ago that just like Qualcomm and Apple, Samsung will also be using the ARM based Exynos 1000 processor in Windows powered laptops. Last year Qualcomm made their first Navigant chipset to use in laptops and PCs and this year Apple has also announced their ARM based Apple Silicon to use in MacBooks. So this is all encouraging Samsung to use their chipsets in Windows powered laptops. We've also heard that Galaxy Note 20 family was the last phones of Samsung to have different chips like Qualcomm and Samsung. Whereas in 2021 with the Galaxy S21 series, we could see Exynos 1000 chipsets everywhere, ending all the drama that happened throughout this year. Using their own processor, Samsung will be able to control the cost and they'll also have a better optimizations overall. So yeah, the Galaxy S21 has begun. It is just a beginning. Let me know what you think of the powers inside the Galaxy S21 family. And make sure to like and subscribe for more coverage on this. And I'll see you in the next one.